Use code AFTV20 for 20% off your order with Fireway Pizza. Just click the link in the description below or go to fireway.co.uk now. AFTV Turkish 2-2. Um, what, what do you make of it? I mean, did well in the end to get back into the game, to, to, to bring it back to 2-2, because it's starting to look like we might go to Bayern with a loss. Yeah, and we couldn't afford that, so thank mm. God we salvaged it, because now it's all to play for, but we've made it difficult for ourselves. Um, the game, Rob, I think the first half, Tuchel probably got the better of Arteta when you look at it overall, but I think we started the game well. The first 10 mm. minutes, you know, think about the occasion, think about the team we're playing, I think we settled, then we got a goal. Saka. I looked at it as, listen, Saka was quiet against Porto, quiet against City. This was his moment. I thought, yes, let's go on now, build and win this mm. game. And Saka's the star boy. Mm. But a few moments there, Ben White misses in front of goal. Big chance, chance, big. If we went 2-0 up, Rob, we would have smoked them. I'll That's be honest, 2-0 in the think. first 20 minutes, mm. they would have been in big, big trouble. But listen, on the flip side, you know, Tuchel's tactics over the top, Sané's pace, it caught us out. I think mm. that first goal, domino effect. There was a few people at fault. We can say Ben White kept Gnabry on side. We can, we can say Rice, you know, he didn't track the man in the middle. We can say there were a few players involved yeah. in that moment. It's like a bit of a mix-up as well. And also um, Kivior as well. I mean, no, was that the second goal? No, no. Kivior was a bit shaky on the first one as well. 100%. So the first goal, listen, Raya shouldn't be coming out. We, we've talked hmm. recently about Raya's kick in City, Brighton, I think misplaced kicks. And it hasn't cost us, but... That was a silly decision because Raya coming out that far mm. stopped the passing angle for Gabriel. Gabriel's touched it out and then he doesn't have Raya to pass back to, so he has to force the pass to Kivio. Kivio's kind of caught flat-footed, so it's a domino effect. Raya was the first domino mm. and I think he, he cost us. And then after that goal that Bayern Munich got, you could see that they started feeling themselves a bit more. Sané started feeling himself. And then you're right, Kivio for that for that Sané, the, you know, the penalty. I mean, why he didn't just pull him back, you know what I mean? Like, it's, a bit like what Partey did later in the yeah. game. He just take one, innit? I think I was surprised Kivio started. You know, I'm not saying he didn't deserve it, but I thought Tomiyasu would have been yeah. favoured because because I think he's more mobile. Mm. Kivio is essentially a centre back playing out of position, whereas Tommy can cover um, mm. different. So I was surprised he started. I wasn't surprised he came off at half time, but I was surprised Zinchenko came on because mm. his son he was getting at Kivio, let alone Zinchenko. But I think Zinchenko done well. Yeah. A few yeah. misplaced passes, but defensively he was okay. Um, mm. And we, you know, second half, I'm going to look at Jesus. I'm going to mention Jesus because he's getting a lot of disrespect recently. I know Havertz has been doing his thing now, but mm. let's, let's not forget Jesus is a baller. Yeah, it's he's... unfortunate what's happened with his knees. And, you know, he ain't the same player he was when we signed him. But today he changed the game, Rob. Yeah. He changed the game. He got criticised heavily the other day for turning too much inside and out, not taking the shot. Today, that's what led to the goal. Yeah. Mm. So sometimes you have to, you know, give and take with that sort of a thing. When you have Brazilian players of that ilk, you're going to get moments that frustrate you, but you're going to get moments like, wow. And mm. that moment brought us back into this game. That mo moment could be the difference between going through in the Champions League or going out. We'll find out after the... Sure Alianda side again with another massive goal as well. Super sub now, man. Mm. And I feel... And I feel I'm disrespecting him saying super sub because mm. he can also start games and do his thing for us. But I feel like he's the perfect 12th man. Whether you need him to come in if Martinelli's injured or whether you need him to come off the bench if someone's tired. Mm. He, does the, he does the job. I think that's six, seven goals off the bench now this season. Yeah, and he does it quietly. Yeah. He, he doesn't kick up a fuss. He's happy to be here. He does his thing when called upon. And today's another clean finish. Clean mm. finish. Because as much as Jesus made that goal, there was still a bit of work to be done. Yeah. And I think anyone you could ask for me to pick in that position, it would have been Trossard. And yeah. he bagged it 2-2. Two, two. No, no, big, big incident right at the end of the game. The penalty incident. You know, I think everyone in the stadium at the time thought that was a penalty. You see Tade there, he thinks it was definitely a penalty. What was your opinion on it? Initially, I was... I was furious. <laughs> I've never seen a game end like that because I didn't yeah. know the game ended. I, yeah. I was like, well, I've seen Bruno Fernandes score a penalty after full time, so I'm expecting something to come. I've opened WhatsApp groups, I've seen clips of it. He did leave his leg in there and I would have preferred him to actually go for it and, and you could have still got fouled. You could have, you could have gone for it and still got fouled. He, he, he left his leg in there and in the end... When we do see those ones get given, don't we? 100%, but we also see those given as dives, so, you know... But he didn't give it as a dive, did he? He didn't give it as a dive, the referee. You see the, you see the referee, Rob? Yeah, that guy, he, he was running up to, you know, little fouls like it was murder. And he was acting like he was Billy Big Boss. But then the big decisions he had to make, he ran away from them. He ran away from all of them. So, yeah, I think that, you know, unfortunate because we could have got it, but I would have liked Saka to, 
to bag his chance. So what, what did you think? Did you think that was a penalty or you didn't? Not penalty all day long. Penalty or not a penalty? No, it's not a penalty. You didn't think it was a penalty? penalty. No, no, it's not a penalty. Yeah. As much as I'd want it to be, yeah. it's not Pen a penalty. For me, um, Pen for me. But listen, it is what it is. It's like, oh, you know, yeah. Rob, I thought we won it. In that. When I'm seeing Saka going through, I'm yeah. thinking, bury it. He cut in, he tried it, it didn't yeah. work, we moved, yeah. yeah. Listen, it, um, it's not over, right? Um, we got to go over there now. 2-2, two, two. can we do it? Can we go over to Bayern? Because they look, you know what I mean, despite what everybody's been saying about their form, they play well tonight. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a very tough game over there in Munich. We can do it. Mm. We can do it, but, but we made it difficult. Going into this game, I said Arsenal were favourites. Mm. I think the result means Bayern are now favourites. But it's all to play for. I mean, you know, our away form in the last 18, 24 months has been pretty immaculate domestically. Not in the Champions League, though. Yes, yes, domestically. Um, but in the Champions League, we're just going to have to turn that domestic away form mm. into Europe. <laughs> Bayern can be got at. We had more possession. We had we more possession. Over there off you, you, you need to get him on now before he, before he decks someone. Um, but yeah, listen, I'm smiling because we're still in it, but I was close to being in tears because, yeah, it just felt like one of those nights.